Hello again everyone, Saka here and welcome back to another episode of NASCAR Racing 2003 season the 2019 mod with the 2021 car set. We are here at a brand new racetrack for the Cup Series, the Nashville Speedway and you can see Brandon offline up there in the Mountain Dew Toyota. We are here in our critical role Camaro starting towards the back. Uh, extremely fast in qualifying for the AI cars. Uh, we'll see if we can race a little bit better. So the track is extremely loose. On the bottom, we'll try to roll uh, as best we can. But Ray for 30 laps here with one pit stop probably coming at halfway. And green flag is out behind Austin Dillon. And Kyle Busch is on the pole. Good run to the inside. And we can get to the inside of Austin Dillon and even the 34. Nope, McDowell goes in. Dillon drives in a little bit harder. Reddick right behind us, surrounded by the Richard Childress racing cars. And on our outside is Corey LaJoy. Bubba Wallace up there as well. So let's see if we can march to the front. Kevin Harvick putting pressure on Kyle Busch. Truex Jr. to the outside in third. And rolling as best we can. Once everyone gets single filed out, we'll be able to go a little bit faster as per usual on these mile and a half race tracks. Uh, we'll try to take advantage of any side by side that we can without touching the apron, please. LaJoy hanging right out there on the outside. Brandon, don't know if that was a wiggle or a move, but down towards the apron and on the inside of Kyle Larson. So it is a traffic jam right in front of us. Good roll here in turn three and four though. We'll see if we can get the pull off Dillon. He tries to go three wide under McDowell and Newman. And unfortunately, really just nowhere for us to go until we fill that spot. Good roll on the bottom under Bubba. And it looks like Corey LaJoy has dropped back behind the eight of Tyler Reddick as well. Kyle Busch still leads Harvick and Truex up front. Brandon making another pass up there on Alex Bowman and looking under Joey Logano. So it looks like Brandon's got the run on the bottom and Austin Dillon is impeding our progress every step of the way. We need to get around Austin as best we can. Try to hook that bottom and roll under the six. McDowell out there as well. So Brandon able to move forward. He is in the single file racing and we are in the rolling roadblock back here. We may need to hang back in turn three and get a run through turn four to get under Austin looking to the inside. This will be our move right here. And there we go, under Austin, Dillon three wide, a little bit of contact. He doesn't want to give up that spot, but we don't want to be slowed down by him any longer. Newman rolls out and now side by side with Ross Chastain. Yeah, now that we are in single file traffic as well, we'll be able to start making some moves up front, I think. But the leaders up there with Denny Hamlin and Martin Truex Jr. side by side, those Toyotas looking good. Kyle Busch still on point. And another set of rolling roadblock right here. Let's look to the outside, try to get a run on William Byron. Get the pull off the 17 of Busher down the back straight away. And I think if we can carry some momentum to the outside here, we will be in the catbird seat. Try to get the run around Busher side by side. We got pull off Custer. Brandon is past all of those people in front. We can drop to the bottom here if we want, but the high side is rolling pretty quick. Let's push Custer past Bell or at least give it a try. Yeah, I think the high lane is gonna be where we're gonna go. On the outside, three wide, trying to hold them all down. That should choke both of them off of the corner. Hitting the limiter going into turn one. Busher didn't give us any, or Custer didn't give us any room going into turn one. We made it stick though. And with Stenhouse and Kurt Busch running side by side, I'm eager to see if we can make up some time here, especially with them slowing each other up off of turn four. This will be where we make up our time. And indeed, yeah, we're hitting the limiter like halfway down the straightaway really fast. 
good entry in turn one. That's why I like to see really rolling that outside behind Crease. The JTG cars. And the Hendrick pair of Larson and Elliott. Yeah, just look how slow they are going into turn three and four. Can we punch the middle? Nope. Let's stick to the outside of Larson if we can. Now, if Kyle drifts up a bit out of that second groove, we'll be able to take it. Roll, roll to the outside, see if we can do something here. Yeah, just unfortunately, we, as we're moving forward, we're in this rolling roadblock situation. We'll arc it to the outside, see if we can catch Larson. Nope, everyone ended up even Steven. Yeah, we really need to get around these guys. There we go, we got a fender on Larson now. To his outside, got a two for him, one and two. And moving forward, and of course, pit stops coming, I'm thinking, two tires. Or at least that's my hope and goal. We may have to take four here, but we'll see how the tire wear does over the run of fuel. Good run on the outside of Almirola and just perfect pitch to get around the nine as well. Good series of corners for us moving forward. Brandon up front now. Kevin Harvick in second, Kyle Busch in third, Martin Drex Jr. fourth, Brad Keselowski fifth. And we are making hay. Looking in that mirror, they are not nowhere near as fast as us over this long run. Good speed through one and two. This will set us up very nicely down the back straightaway here with Logano and Blaney. Yeah, we'll follow Brad around. If Brad's going to hold Denny back, that may keep that whole bottom line choked up. Blaney moves up top, but we are there just barely. Got a fender, good approach. Yeah, as long as we can nail one, that sets us up really well all the way through the back straightaway. Looking for an opening. I don't know if Brad is going to leave us room or are we going to go up top here? Yeah, three wide. We can make it stick. And another two for off of four. Kozlowski and Hamlin away. Now, as long as Truex doesn't get racy with his teammate, we should be able to make short work of Truex and Bush here. I'm just waiting for him to go down to the bottom, though. Well, he decided to stay in line. That's fine. We'll be coming down. It's halfway. There's the 3 2 1 markers for Pit Road, and we are. Whew. We made up a ton of time on Brandon there on pit road entry. We just need the rest of this to cycle through. And I believe it may be a right, right tire change for us, so let's go. Doing all four, down and away. And it looks like Brandon is doing four tires as well. So, we caught up a ton of time on Brandon on pit road entry. Ooh, it looks like the right side of his car is scuffed up a bit. So, all in all, that was a big net gain for us on pit road. It looks like his crew was a little bit faster on the four tire change. We need to be extremely careful here on the access road while the tires come up to temperature. The car wanted to break free right there. And on the power, clear up. Now we can run some very fast laps, try to get that uh, undercut. And if, if I can come out in front of those guys in front of me, all the better. Brandon was already out front. So essentially where Brandon is is the time we made up on everyone else. So it'll be interesting to see where they come to pit road and if they are losing enough time that we are going to make it up over this tire run. 
Just running our race here, seeing if these guys are going to come to pit road. I haven't seen their pit road entry yet, so I don't know exactly where they start blending or how aggressive they are on the slowdown. A little loose going into one, though. We had to catch it, but no worse for the wear around the double zero. We'll get the launch down the back straightaway under the seven. Caught the joy in a good place there. Now just waiting on the leaders. There they go. Everyone on pit road to our left will be getting our lap back here. And really sinking it down the straightaway. A lot of speed in the car for sure. All right, so if no one is blending up, we'll be looking for them next time by. Luckily, no traffic around, so we don't have to wait on them to come to pit road or block our path. All right, a few more cars on pit road making those passes as well. So passing Larson, there is De Benedetto. And there is Almirola there and they are coming off of pit road. So these are four position and perhaps they just did two tires. Well, I'm feeling pretty good about our four. It still looks like we are much faster through the corners. So there is Chase, and Kyle Busch may be the leader. Brandon goes around Keselowski. Unfortunately, not quite up there enough to make advantage, but Brad does leave that bottom completely open. There's Harvick for position coming off of pit road as well. So it looks like Harvick may be out front, then Kyle, then Brandon, then Truex. Around the outside of Truex here. And Harvick has a little bit to go before he gets to chase Briscoe. And if he does get caught up to chase, then that will slow him up quite a bit. Looks like Kyle is slowed down by the lap car as well. We'll go right to the bottom under Suarez and Brandon perhaps. Got Brandon there on the outside rolling that groove. Oh, there's Briscoe. Where's Brandon going to go to the outside? We'll follow him through. And hanging tough on the outside. This should be a very good run for us. There we go around Harvick. So Brandon will reassume the lead and we are right on his tailpipe. Ooh, loose in the middle. So the 77 car will probably get out of the way or not be much of a threat as Brandon goes to the inside there. Whoa, really loose on entry, had to catch it. Luckily the 77 was slow enough that we could get to his outside and not lose more speed than we lost on entry. So let's back these corners up, see if we can get a run. Good run there for sure. Now it's just a matter of our gearing. So we're not on the chip too awful bad now. Feels like the tires have given up just enough that we're not gonna be hitting the chip for too awful long going into one. Almost on the chip on three. Yeah, it looks like Brandon struggled on turn three entry. And maybe even exit. We got a really good run to the outside. Let's take a peek to see if we can carry that to the outside here. So Brandon running middle lane. And I don't know if we should go inside or out. I feel better inside on three. Feel better on outside in one and two. Got Alfredo in front, lap traffic playing a little bit of a factor here. And really screaming those RPMs down the straightaway for sure. Yeah, if we can get, ooh, had to get out of the gas just a little bit there. The car is wanting to rotate. 
which is good, but not over rotate. Luckily, able to fill that gap under the 38, get to use everything here on the racetrack. And Eric Jones is next up, catching him fairly quickly. So we'll see what kind of role Eric Jones plays in the grand scheme of things. A decent one and two for us, able to maintain station. And we'll probably catch Jones in the middle of three and four. If Brand goes to the outside, he can keep Jones pinned down. And indeed, he does get to the outside. We'll be able to get just a little bit of pull off of Jones and get back up to Brandon. Roll that outside, and we're pretty clear sailing as far as lap traffic is concerned now. Really good turn two for us. I think we are better on that end of the racetrack for sure. Good power. Yeah, really good turn four. White flag, one lap to go. Let's get to the outside, see if we can carry this momentum around. It's gonna come down wheel to wheel. Don't blow turn one, just blew a little bit. Let's carry that speed forward. If Brandon got choked up on the bottom, side by side down the back stretch. Fuel light is coming on. Brandon goes to the inside. Maybe we can use this car as a pick. Nope, not going to get there. Oop, side draft. I think we got it, but I am not sure that was too close to call. Oh man, let's take a look. From the outside view, real aggressive entry. And we were able to clear him off of turn two here. So Brandon washed up in the middle of one and two. We carried that speed down side by side. Can't get any closer than this. And around the outside. And we drove three a little bit hard and then carried it all the way down and side by side to the line. Whew. Way too close. Oh, Brandon got it. So we finish P2 with a side-by-side -side run off of Brandon. Whew. So another win for Brandon in third place, Kevin Harvick. Fourth place, Kyle Busch. Fifth place, Martin Truex Jr. Sixth place, Brad Keselowski. Seventh place, Chase Elliott. Eighth place, Eric Almirola. Ninth place, where are you, Kurt Busch? And 10th, yeah, that was a cluster for 10th. 10th place, Kyle Larson. And one thing I'm interested in seeing is where Brandon got that right side damage. It could have got loose. We can't see his steering trace. It kind of ground out. Like, it looked like it hit the racetrack and then... Um, Sort of went up the hill, but a good run for Brandon. Almost a win for us. Not bad. So let's look at the standings after Nashville. Brandon with his eighth win of the year. Cole Custer, your cutoff driver. And Benedetto is stretching his legs out. One race to the good, but a, a decently tight battle for 17th through 20th. And if Cole Custer slips up, then uh, it's still anyone's race in that cutoff position. So we are heading to the Pocono Double. So two races next week, Pocono 1 and Pocono 2. But that will do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Take care.